what would you do if I told you to take $20 out of your pocket and throw it in the garbage? How about 50? 100? Thousands? It's an absurd request, am I right? Who would actually throw money away? But every day, perhaps unknowingly, we throw wasted food into our garbage cans. This can include half-eaten sandwiches, fresh spinach intended for a salad that never got made, or those pricey avocados that pass that narrow window of perfect ripeness. According to a study done by the College of William and Mary, the average American consumer wastes $1,300 annually on food that is thrown away. Statistically speaking, that is more than people spend annually on clothing or household heating and electricity. The dollars add up as the trash bins fill, and I'm sure that we can all agree that saving money is a priority, but here, the cost is more than the cash from your pocket. Food waste is the food that we discard each and every day. Perhaps it went bad, or we made too much. But the problem is, we do it so casually. The process of growing, caring, harvesting, packaging, shipping, buying, and cooking leaves our mind as we open the trash can. All of the resources that went into that food are wasted as well, like water, environmentally harmful fertilizer, or the nutrients that it carries are for nothing when we throw it away. Sadly, the consequences are rarely considered. When the food sits in landfills, it rots and produces methane gas. This gas contributes to the ever-impending problem of global warming, and that rotting food takes up more and more of the limited landfill space that remains. According to the USDA, 100 billion pounds of food were wasted in 2010 in the United States. And in California alone, we waste 6 million tons of food annually. These are amounts that are hard to even imagine, but it's what causes food waste to take up 22% of landfill space. Currently, the world produces enough food to sustain the global human population, but 30 to 40% of the food supply ends up in landfills. That wasted food is enough to feed 2 billion people, which is a reality that we need to be more mindful of. If you think about it, the solution to food waste seems simple enough. Everybody just needs to eat what they buy and not throw any of it away. But that doesn't happen. Cleaning out the fridge generally means trash bags full of food. Convenience in the hectic nature of most people's lives means that the planning and thoughtfulness demanded for a realistic solution just is not there yet. We need to change the way that we approach food from the moment we start shopping. The solution that I am proposing is an app that I created called the Waste Reducer app. This app aims to help users plan their weekly grocery needs by creating menus. These menus contain all the ingredients that you will be using for the rest of the week. The idea is that if users buy only what they need by planning ahead of time, waste will be avoided. Shoppers won't have to make those daily trips to the grocery stores to pick up whatever they need for tonight's dinner. So, impulse shopping is avoided, much to the chagrin of those people at home who enjoy six different bags of chips. Shoppers will save time and money, and the environment benefits from less waste and fewer car trips. When you open up the Waste Reducer app, you are greeted by the What's in the Fridge section on the home icon. Remember this, because we'll get back to it in a minute. Your second tab is the shopping menu. Here is where you enter in all the meals that you plan on making for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then simply enter in the ingredients for all of those meals and repeat the process for the rest of the days of the week to create a shopping menu. The app then compiles all the ingredients that you just entered into a shopping list for you to use while you shop. After you've bought an item, you can cross it off by tapping on it. And these crossed off items are what go into your what's in the fridge section on the home icon. Essentially, it's one big circle that keeps repeating. And the result, smart shopping. Grocery trips are more intentional and cost conscious, which causes waste to be significantly reduced. This app addresses the reality of most people's busy lives. Schools, jobs, children, extracurriculars, and other things have us running from place to place, leaving little time for thoughtful shopping. It's what subjects us to overbuying, 
because we rush to get in and out of grocery stores, buying the first things that we see on the shelves, or whatever we think we need for tonight's dinner. It's something that food companies love, but it hurts our wallets. The app is an easy way for us to keep more money in our pockets for the other things that we enjoy. Now, perhaps you may be thinking, how is this app different from any other meal planning app that I can download on my phone? Well, the difference is in the purpose of the app. Other meal planning apps are centered around personal fitness, not the environment. The Waste Reducer app aims to give users the tools that they need to practice smart shopping habits in a convenient and environmentally friendly way. So, I ask you to download the Waste Reducer app so that we can work together to solve this impending issue. And the next time you feel like impulse shopping or throwing out those carrots you didn't use, think of its impact on the environment. Because each ounce of food wasted is more space taken up in the landfills, more resources lost, and more money squandered. There is an urgency to act now and do better than we are. So let's not waste any more time on waste. Thank you.